car opens up as soon as you touch it, as long as you have the key with you. As you can see in the middle, we have our uh, controls for the AC and heating and the radio. And here you can see the engine star stop button. So you hit it once, that stars your accessories, your radio. Uh, you can use your basic uh, accessories. You hit it again, and then that stars your ignition. Now that allows you to, uh, uh, you know, use your your heater, uh, your fans, things like that. But it doesn't start the car. If you want to start the vehicle, you have to press the brake pedal and then press the start button, and then the car starts. Not a lot of cars had these this feature uh, when this first came out, so it's a, it's a pretty neat feature to have. Nice uh, steering wheel uh, with a nice sporty grip. Uh, you have paddle shifters in the back. Uh, you have your standard Lexus wiper controls. This car, this particular car, doesn't have rain sensing uh, controls, but I know some that do. Then you have your lights here on the other side. That's for your uh, headlights and your fog lights. Then in the center console we have uh, basically your display center up top which you can control with this button here. There's not too many features in that but it gives you the outside temperature, it gives you your range uh, based on your gas tank, it gives you the average MPG, it gives you your tank average, it gives you your current MPG based on uh, you know, your throttle input as you drive, average speed, gear position, and nothing. Okay, also a very cool feature, uh, you can actually set indicators on the dash for your speed and your, and your uh, engine speed as well. Which, uh, as far as I know, the only car that had it before Lexus came up with this was the uh, VW Phaeton, I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that was the case. And basically, there's a little uh, uh, switch here that allows you to go through different features uh, to set that. And I'll, I'll show you how that goes. I'm going to press the button, and you can see at the very top, there's your uh, tire pre pressure. I'll move through it. Uh, and then there's different features that you can turn on and off. Here's the, the uh, speed indicator. I'm gonna go uh, turn that on and you can see how I can now you know move the, the needle up and down to wherever I want the speed indicator to be. And what that does is that as soon as the speed starts to get to where I have it set, it will turn yellow. And if it goes a certain uh, speed above that, it'll turn red gonna set it to 70 say okay and then I'm gonna move to the tag indicator and I'm gonna set that to on you can see currently set a 5500 but I can move that down to anything you like all the way to 6500 which is I believe red line on this car Here's your uh, uh, radio, which is a, a nice uh, system. You have dual controls for your temperature. You have front and rear defrosting, and you know, including the mirrors. And you have heated and cool seats. So if you want to heat the seats, you move it this way to where the red area is. You have three settings. And then to cool the seats, you have three settings as well to the right. Here you have a little compartment which you can have a cigarette lighter or plug in your USB adapters in there with a little compartment for coins and whatnot. Which, uh, not sure it was intentional, but you can fit an iPhone here perfectly well. Gear changer, you have your cup holder here. As you can see, everything in a Lexus is typically like this where. Uh, there's some hydraulic actuation to make a, a smooth uh, motion and that goes throughout as you can see here the uh, the um, uh, arm grab whatever you call these things uh, are the same if you hold them down to hold yourself against and you let go 
they go back nice and gently while we're up here uh, here we have the uh, rear view mirror with three garage uh, memories and you can set this for auto dimming uh, at nighttime and it also shows you the uh, direction you're headed in right now we're facing northeast here you have a compartment for your glasses uh, lights for either side and then your uh, uh, sunroof And to close it, go back down. You can also open it or close it just a set amount based on this. You can open it or close it all the way or not at all. Door controls here. We have your typical Lexus uh, setup. All the uh, windows go up and down automatically, which is not many cars had this feature uh, back then just a few of the luxury brands actually had it but all typically you have either one or two in the front not the back this one does all four of them you have your window lock uh, door lock and then to control your mirrors and down here we have a gas door opener and your trunk opener and then your hood and your brake pedal is actually in here and it engages by simply pushing either way and here you have your traction control button and your transmission uh, control I think it's called electronic uh, control transmission I, I can't remember what it means but it, it basically it's the computer that controls your transmission and it, it basically adjusts your shift patterns and such uh, based on what you input here so the power button obviously helps you have a more spirited uh, driving experience based on shifts but it doesn't really change the power output of the engine uh, if you hit the snow button that actually sets the car on snow feature and it's actually a great feature to have I've had a lot of experience with this feature it's a similar uh, feature to what Toyota now has call the crawl feature for their Tacomas and Tundras uh, which uh, helps you get out of sand this does a, a very similar thing for snow it actually uh, decreases, changes your ignition timing so that the torque output out of the engine is very very slow very very uh, low and smooth and it ha helps you get out of snow very very easily and it keeps track of your movement and the traction of every tire and it helps you come out of snow uh, with ease the seats are very ergonomical very comfortable and as you can see it's, it's got perforated leather to allow the uh, the air to go through when you have your cooling set up you have a glove compartment a decent amount of space and in here you actually have your trunk opener cancel some people actually go and hit this button uh, and cancel out your trunk opener and then complain that the the trunk doesn't work and you know if you do it by accident uh, and actually cancel that trunk opener feature yes your trunk is not going to work this is for valet purposes also underneath as you can see by these labels this car has uh, knee airbags and it was the first to have knee airbags on both sides, the passenger and the driver's side. And as you can see, this car uh, has all the service records and it was always uh, serviced uh, by the Lexus dealership. Next service due 136,000 miles, currently 133. Uh, the inspection is also good until uh, August 2018. I would also show you here that the seats are very adjustable. You can, you can adjust them front and back, up and down, front, the back goes up and down. And then the, your lumbar support as well here. Doors have a container which you can open and close and that allows you to put a drink in here.
back seats are not too too spacious but they offer enough space for average size adults but it's not the most spacious interior uh, but it is very ergonomical and very comfortable back here uh, for anybody who's uh, you know inside the car again you have your door grabbers here your handle uh, handlebars uh, your coat hanger up here and then you also have lights in the back just like the front for either side and this here this center console is um, it's an armrest for the rear passenger and you also have a little compartment where you can put stuff and back here you can actually open this from the other side to be able to put in your your skis uh, or any kind of long object and run it right through the trunk through here and be able to fit that and back here you have your vents for the rear passenger the little uh, compartment space to put your stuff pockets behind the seats now let's take a look at the trunk which is quite spacious and as you can see here it has a lot of space uh, the wind is blowing really hard hope you can hear me okay but as you can see this is that section I was telling you about which you can open and helps you put your your skis or anything like that is long right through this hole this opening but it's a pretty spacious trunk. First aid kit. Most Lexus come with a first aid kit. You have uh, hooks to be able to tie either a little rag uh, back here. And then you have your spare tire in here. Let's take a quick look at the engine bay. There's not too much to see here because of the uh, covers, but it is a V6 with direct port injection and variable valve timing is all aluminum. You can see the battery back there. The tires are Continental DSW06s. Uh, they're very good tires. They're very good uh, all season tires. If, if anybody's looking for sporty all season tires, I highly recommend these tires. They're a great value, great price. And I've had it on about two or three vehicles now uh, with a lot of luck. Uh, I gotta say, these, these are very good tires. These tires were replaced not too long ago. And I can actually show you the front ones have a lot of tread left still. This is probably at least eight or nine thirty twos of a second in the middle. And lastly, one cool feature that this car has is that you can actually control the windows with your remote. Let's say that is a, a very hot day and you want to put the windows down before you come to your car so it cools off. All you have to do is hit the unlock button and keep it unlocked and all the windows come down. And the sunroof opens as well. And at any given time, if you want to keep the windows halfway, you can stop, you can let go of the button and the windows will stop at that point. Pretty cool feature.